Welcome to the Coco Show. Anywho, hi my delights. Welcome back. As you see, the title is Loving the Skin Hair You're In. I actually flip that around. Um, so I'm just here to just talk about um skincare, hair care, love, you know, loving thine self. Um I was going to throw a little COVID talk in there, but then for some reason I just started making my thumbnail based on hair and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, once again, excuse nails. And once again, welcome to the Coco Show. Hey. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, I made a post of the day or vid real quick about, um, just posted on Instagram, which is Coco Delight. Um about oh how beautiful you is closing right until further notice baby mm. so i ran in and i got me some creamy crack which is a uh, leave-in conditioner nowadays because i'm trying to care for my hair so and with that um i've been watching a lot of youtubers naturally ash that's my girl get it i mean her head's down here here and she got like that for something. But I, I like to say I got that 5A. Okay? 5A, babe, babe. It's going to be new. It's a new trend. Okay? Make it go viral. 5A. Um, so, I am in the midst of really like taking care of my hair, taking care of my daughter's hair. And it's just like becoming, learning how to be comfortable with the skin and the hair that I'm in. Um, I like to go ahead and put this out there like... <sighs> do I find myself most attractive when I have my hair? Like, do y'all see this? No, I don't. Oh. So, therefore, the braids help me with the confidence. The I don't really wear tracks, but wigs help me with the confidence and all this other stuff. But then I had to just sit back and say, why? Why? You are who you are. You know what I'm saying? I did put a little eyeliner on. Oh, I, let me show y'all this um, lipstick. I don't know if I showed it in one of the videos, but I probably meant to. This is Sapphire. Wow. It's like a little bluish with a little mm, glisten. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, wait. Glisten. Okay. So, um, it's super cute. Because I like all the dark colors. How y'all just looked in my mirror that's right there. So, um... Just talking about it. So, as a mom of a teenager, okay, um, I see myself. I see the insecurities that I had. And my daughter, she's soup. She's lighter than me and all that. So, she ain't dealing with that. But she still has her issues. You know what I mean? I mean, she's still an African-American child in this world. <clears throat> so, um, just trying to... So, I took her hair out the other day, and I washed it, and I conditioned it, and I aloed it, and I... You know, all those things to bring back the nutrition, the nutrients, the, the strength of her hair, and all of that. And I'm trying to get her out of... Stop looking at it to grow tomorrow. Okay? You give it time. A clean scalp, healthy scalp, you know what I mean? Makes a super huge difference. And I need you to... Be focused on that. But, of course, at 13, you know, you see your friends. They got the braids. They got the tracks. They got the long hair. You you know, we're in a melting pot of different um, nationalities, races, and things like that. So, yes, you see the Hispanic girls. And you see that their hair is long. Oh, my gosh. Let me tell you what she said the other day, right, when I was doing her hair. She was like, um... Would it be better? I mean, because her head thick. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But she got breakage and stuff right now. But we're going to fix that. We're going to get it. We Next thing you know, about year so, we're going to be like, oh, yeah, we down here. So, uh, so with her, she was like, would it be better if my hair was thinner? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Because when you're 60, you're going to be, you're going to appreciate that thickness, you know what I'm saying? That you're not balding. You're you're gonna trust me. You know, you we can look at it in a different light. And this is what I'm telling my daughter, like, you know, you see those who have the long flowing hair and it looks so beautiful. I said, but where's the volume? I said at one point in time, you know, uh other ethnicities didn't necessarily have clip-ons or weave and stuff, and then all of a sudden, once you notice that your hair is super flat and then they ain't getting no type of body to it, now you adding clip-ons and weave and all that other stuff. Like y'all weren't doing that before. You know what I'm saying? So 
it's like look deeper I, i'm trying to get her to understand to look deeper in what you just what you see really understand the heritage and what i have what i think our hair truly means to me when i see our hair i truly and i am talking about african-american hair when i see that and i ain't talking about mixed or none of that i'm talking about natural and not saying you don't have a, a percentage of something else in your system let's be honest down the line yes indian somewhere in my family down there but um and maybe a speck of i like i like to be because of my last name um i like to be like i'm a, I'm a little bit of italian no i'm lying but whatever so um with our hair look at the strength look at how strong it is look at when it's all put together the strength of it um i think it just it shows like our history, you know what I mean? Like our who we are, like we're strong as as a, a race. I'm sorry, you know, not knocking anybody else's race and not saying that you're not strong, but what I am saying is for my African American brothers and sisters, like we have to back up off of what has been presented to us as beautiful. Um, we have to, you know, it, it's sad that we already, you know, got this complexion thing and then, oh my gosh, my hair, uh, what else? Uh, 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 my waistline, like it's, it's simmer down, like calm down. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? Learn to love the skin you in. God has blessed you with this and luckily you, you're still living. So, you know, you can make little changes to yourself, add a little eyeliner, add a little makeup and all this other stuff, but changing of the skin tone and never showing the hair. It, it seems like it's like a shame of our culture. You know what I'm saying? Like we're ashamed of who we are. But rightfully so, because the mentality that we have gained from slavery, racism, hate, hate, and all of that, mentally, that does fuck with you. Let's be honest. You know what I mean? So, it's like, because... I I was at one point like, ooh, light skin dudes, yes. And then I had to realize, but do you love me? Do you care for me? Will you accept me looking like this? And if you don't, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Goodbye. You know what I'm saying? So let's just encourage our children. Let's go get our products, ladies. Let's learn our culture. Because I feel like grandma and them uh, really didn't have the resources. And back then... Oh, my, my father made a very good point. He said, you know, when it was slavery and things like that, hair care was not our focus. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it wasn't what we were worried about, you know. We were worried about, excuse me, we were worried about, you know, not getting beat, not getting raped, not getting hung, not getting whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't think that we, I feel like the, the market was not geared towards us. It was, they weren't worried about us and they, us and we're, they're still not. Okay. So I, and I'm mad that I was so lackadaisical on a friend of mine who was getting into the natural hair products and stuff like that. And she wanted to do a thing where you can come in, you can have avocado, you can have aloe, you can have cocoa, 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 coconut oil. And you like other natural products and make your own combination of stuff for your hair. And I'm like, I was so not into it, but now I'm so into it, okay? And I don't know. And like, the, uh, one more thing I really want to say before I get up out of here is I um, love the skin that you're in, love the hair that you're in. And ladies, if you have a daughter and son, but something about moms and daughters, you know what I mean? It's always a stigma of like mothers and daughters and having issues and stuff. And... I really felt a bond. I felt really good, like, doing her hair and massaging her scalp. But it was just, like, a, a super bond, and I love it. And so, therefore, we shall be doing this weekly. Not necessarily washing her hair because it does strip our hair. Um, so, I do one wash, and then I do the intense conditioner for about 15, 30 minutes. Rinse that out. Glop it up with some leave-in conditioner, then some oil. Then I've been taking, I got some shea butter that I don't really like. I really like the whipped shea butter. So I got some older shea butter or whatever that I've been putting here on the on thine edges. And, um, but um, more so, I just want to talk about just 
Oh, I just want to make a point that it was a very intimate and nice, beautiful moment with me and my daughter and us doing our hair. And I told her I'll take my braids out. And if you've seen other videos, I had those braids in. And I said, you know what? I know how she feels about her hair. So let me rock with her. Let me rock out with my hair out. And trust me, I feel awkward. I feel like, uh, but then the, the, who I am, I kind of just don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Because like right now I'm kind of, I'm single. And my thing is right now, it's like, if you don't like how the way I look right now, that's good. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it, it I, now I don't have to deal with you and you don't have to deal with me. Because if you like me because I got some braids or because my ass or because my tail or something like that, I don't want to talk to you anyway. Because you do not accept me as this. When I'm my natural self, then you might be out here looking for that drunk with the blonde head. Where you going? You know what I'm saying? I don't have time for that. I need you to love me as I is. Okay? Yes, as I is. So anyway, Coco gotta go though. I just want to do a quick little vid and just talk about, you know, us. Black people. Okay? So, y'all have a good one. Um, And just visit again. Okay, ladies and gentlemen? Have a good one. And stay safe and check on the loved ones. Okay? Uh -huh.